to Yada Belly's Kitchen and today we are continuing our dinners for Lent series and we will be doing uh, a, a quick little dish, you know, weekday dish, all right? So I have already started prepping most of my ingredients, so let me just run through them right quick. In this bowl right here, I have two small yellow squash. Over here, I have two small zucchini. I have about four cloves of garlic. I have one small uh, uh, onion and here I also have my green seasoning and I'm gonna put the the little uh, card for the green seasoning right at the top of the screen there so you can link up that one and I'm doing saltfish yes may have some saltfish right here mm hmm and that's the that's the the boneless pollock and uh, I'm put a little bit of red herring in it, yeah? Just to flavor it up, all right? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is, oh yeah, I forget, I have some more stuff. I have two small um, uh, tomatoes, and the tomatoes are, are tomatoes are in my fridge. But when them get in soft, you use them and cook, you know? You don't really eat them as salad, but a salad. And I have also two parsnips. You know, the parsnips come like, white carrot white carrot but it's a little bit more coarser a little bit more like a root more like a root vegetable so i'm gonna use that and we just have to cook down everything yeah i'm gonna show you the procedure simple as that you understand so make we start so in my pot i have my saltfish and i put my saltfish into boil i remove the, the choke the water and put in again and choke the water and put in again so this is the third time and then i got just pretty much lock out that and that will desalinate the saltfish take out all of the salt out of the saltfish at least most of it all right and then we're gonna start compose the dish okay so now i got my my stove um you know and doing its thing and I got my pot on my stove. I'm gonna add a heaping tablespoon of coconut oil. And to that, I'm gonna add my garlic. And I usually put my garlic in because I, I, I don't want my garlic burn. So I usually put it in and allow it to just warm up with the with the, the, the pot. You understand what I'm saying? With the oil. Alright. And now my uh, garlic is starting to Feel the vibes, yes. And I'm gonna add my parsnips. I'm gonna add my parsnips next, okay? And the reason why I'm adding my parsnips is because I believe parsnips, um, the parsnips is the relatively the hardest thing that will cook. All right. So I'm gonna add my parsnips first. And as I as I told you, I have the heat on relatively low medium yeah so i'm just make this one permeates this is just getting to the point now where i believe i can start adding more ingredients i'm gonna add my yellow squash And timing is very important guys to, to know when to start adding your different ingredients is very important because that way one thing doesn't overcook and the next thing is re relatively firm you understand you get everything cooking at relatively the same level you know so put in the yellow squash them now and now I'm gonna put my zucchini in So it look pretty. And the coconut oil and the garlic is such a, an amazing smell in the house. 
an amazing smell. If you're not using coconut oil, you need to start using it. It's very healthy and it gives awesome flavor to your dish. Now I'm gonna add my onions. Right here is where I'm gonna start adding some of my herbs okay because I want this dish to resonate with you know nice nice smells and good flavor all right so I'm gonna start adding some of my herbs okay and the first thing I'm gonna add is I have some lemon pepper yeah lemon pepper seasonings and this is is real real good it's not powdered seasoning it is more flaky and it really gives a nice vibe to the dish and because i'm using salt fish i can obviously use a little bit of lemon pepper so i'm putting lemon pepper in there I'll, um, first then i'm adding some old bay and old bay is good for any type of sea any type of seafood you can add your old day too. Not that much. Again, flavor is what I'm going for. Um, now I'm going with my Judy's Kitchen. Yeah. And that's about a table, a teaspoon of the Judy's Kitchen, guys. And let me see what else uh, I have my garam masala Indian blend I'm gonna use a little bit of that and the garam masala is awesome guys it, it is a, a very very awesome awesome uh, seasoning that I totally love and I've been using that for a little bit and I'm really good with it now this is one of my blend I, I, I can't explain this one this one is kimchi powder all right now this you might not get this at any and any place you have to go to maybe pk's mark market or somewhere like that to see if you get kimchi powder um and that's you don't have to have that this is some paprika again you don't have to add all of that all right let me stir up this pot here now oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah flavors coming through now oh my nice 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 smell good look good yes man let this seasoning and blend in a little bit more at this stage if you want to add a little water you may do so or if you want to add a little touch of oil a little bit more oil you may do so um i'm gonna add a little of both i think just to get my little gravy going before i add well i might add the salt fish first yeah maybe that's what i'll do add my salt fish at this point and then we take it to the next level mm -hmm. now at this stage i'm gonna add my salt fish but before i do i'm gonna add a heaping tablespoon of my green seasoning right uh, at least i can put a little bit more my green seasoning is made up of all uh, different type of vegetables and you can find you, I, i'll put the the, the rest the, the video for that one in the description box or on the card above the screen so you can always um you know search for that one let me just tip some water now because we're about building gravy now you know because we want this thing to cook down nicely Dip some water and then we're gonna start adding our salt fish now because of I'm using this the salted uh, the boneless pollux I usually don't break up my salt fish too much all right me just allow it to you know cause you know say it, it break up it, it break up very easily 
So I don't really want to add to the breakage by mincing it up too much. You know, I put them in big. And when you stir the pot a couple of times, you know, your saltfish should do its thing. Yeah, man, see there? If I, when, you, when you boil it and boil it and boil it, you know, it come out like that. And thing and thing. So you just add your saltfish. And as I told you, the wife says she want a little bit of redder in the night. So I put a little redder in the night. No. Your redder in might come with some very, very fine bones. If you don't want to eat the bone, then you can pick them out. But we're good with it. You understand? Because them redder in are from Jamaica days. You understand? Let me just. When you see the bone, then you pick them out. If you don't see none, you pick it out. And again, you can do your thing your way. You know? I'm not able to because some people come on sometimes and then cuss you. When you don't do it like how them used to. Like a few them pot that I cook and a few them yard me they cook. Hmm? I go tell me, oh, that no look good and that no right and... Who cook on the yard? I mean, not there for the phone yard to cook. I don't my yard to cook. So to all the people them who like what I do, thumbs up, dig up on yourself, be here with me. Never come here come tell them that I get degree from professional chef school. Why am I venting? I don't even know why I'm not venting right now. Yeah, so put in my two little piece of red herring, just see that little smoke flavor there. My pot look very nice right now, may I tell you that. My pot look very good right now and it smells so divine. See there? See there? And you check for your, you check for your, th your, your flavors, you know, you check for salt and them thing there. Remember, see a salt fish here I use, so. And I'm adding some more stuff. Adding some tomato. Adding some jalapenos for the kick. And we have some some scallions or well, one stalk of scallion and that was the two tomato one stalk of scallion and one whole jalapeno with the seeds and the, the, the stems the we call it the veins removed all right so we can turn up the stove a little bit now and make this simmer down yeah pack almost come down right now i just simmering now and again you just adjusting your flavors to your taste if you want a little more pepper in it, you put pepper, whatever you want, you know, you do it for your taste, all right? So my thing I come go on good right now, I feel so divine. Yeah. And I'm serving this with some ground provision, with some banana and some dumpling. So you will see the finishing, yeah? Yes, 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 peoples. Here we have our dinner looking all lovely, scrumptious, delicious, and thing. Dumpling, we served it with dumpling and bananas, Not and too. um, yeah, mm. just a couple grape tomatoes on the side. Stop, look now <gasps> and look on the plate. She's sure look. looking at the camera. <laughs> Back here, <how> they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, this is it, guys. Um, or what do you call it? Um, Salfish cooked down with zucchini and squash, squash. featuring a tad bit of red herring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this All is it in them. Yada Belly Kitchen today. And as usual, we crave your support in loving, rating, subscribing, commenting, and most importantly, sharing our videos. All right. And until next time, peace, peace out.